Hi, I'm Killian. This is my son, Finn. We're here for Native Salt Clam Bait. I want to talk about our stringers, a new product we just debuted that we're very excited about because it catches a lot of fish. We're going to talk today about how we use this bait to catch fish around here. Uh, first of all, a lot of beach fishing, very popular. This is an excellent bait for beach fishing. Uh, we've been out with it to catch a whiting or a pompano. Nice inch section of this super tough clam stringer. This comes off of the inside of the clam's shell, and this is where the clam meets the world, so it's very tough, and it's full of fibers that you can see here when you pull it apart that make it very tough. So when you put it on a hook, it stays on there, and these fish, for some reason, love these stringers. I don't know if it's the action underwater because they wiggle around so much, or if it's just the flavor, but fish love these stringers. And this right here will catch a whiting or a pompano, a croaker, a spot, any of the type of fish that we typically target. And oftentimes when we're fishing, we will catch two or sometimes three fish on one bait, right, Ben? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's one of the things about fishing with a salt clam is not always having to bait the hook. My fingers don't stink after I bait the hook. The clams just smell like salted clam. I mean, you could put a little garlic in the guini and probably eat these things if you're foolish enough to do so. I mean, I don't recommend it. Uh, and then also another great presentation for these is on jigs. We use these to catch pompano, whiting, fin caught a nice snook on these. Killer, yeah, killer. killer jigs. And to put a tip on them to make an extra attractant, these are absolutely ideal. And not just goofy jigs, but any type of jig and you can imagine could benefit from a little bit of clam stringer. So I just fold it over here, put it on the jig one time, and then just put it on one more time. That's it. And this won't make the jig spin, this gives an action just like a little worm swimming through the water, bounces up and down, turn it around, it's very lively. So these fish are thinking that this is some kind of live creature hanging back there and these fish also love clams. So this is the way to go if you're goofy jigging and you want to use a type of bait that is of high value and high effectiveness. Uh, Finn, you've used this bait, what do you think about it? I think it moves really well, it looks like a worm through the water and uh, I mean I get a lot of fish on it. Stays on the hook really well. You can get at least two or three hits on that thing. And it. You know, they might cut it down a little bit. It might come down to here, but it's great bait. It stays on the hook very well. Very well. Especially with jigging, because casting off bait is usually a problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this is what we got today for everybody, and we look forward to seeing reports on native salt clam bait users or through Facebook uh, of the catches that our customers enjoy using this bait here, and we uh, are convinced that this is going to be an excellent bait for up north for walleye. We know walleye eat salt clam, and we know that freshwater bass eat salt clam, and we also know that crappie and uh, bluegill eat salt clam, but now being able to use it with this presentation with a smaller jig head or a bigger jig head in these areas, uh, our customers are going to be able to catch a lot of fish, and then when the fishing day is done, take their bag of salt clam, close the Ziploc, put it in their tackle bag, keep it cool, and the next time fishing comes up, the bait will be ready to go. That's the beauty of it. So get clammy, get fishy, and thank you everybody for participating in our lifestyle.